She doesn't stand with Melissa? How dare she? Of course she doesn't stand with Melissa because if they backed up a dump truck full of money, probably twice or five times what she asked for originally, she ain't gonna stand for anybody. Nev Campbell, Scream 7. So this was a little bit of a shocker right here because, you know, with everything that happened with Melissa and uh, what's her name too, also walking, I mean, they were building up this uh, whole new kind of like, okay, we don't have Nev Campbell anymore. She's not going to be returning to the franchise. So, hey, we're going to build up these new characters. And it seemed like that's what they were doing, kind of building up this new trilogy with these new characters that have a connection to the original storyline. But then, of course, when it came to certain things that were expressed on social media from Melissa, and it got her kind of canceled. And then, of course, the original director, I forgot who it was, but... They put the kibosh on it and everything looked like he was uh, just going to be in shambles, especially after Nev Campbell came out and said like, yeah, I'm not going to be joining any more movies when it comes to Scream because they are not offering me a lot of money. They're not offering me the money that I think I deserve. And I, my whole thing about that was, well, I was like, all right, well, we don't know how much she was actually supposed to be in the movies. So I'm kind of wondering about that. Sometimes you got to think about screen time because if if these new young actors are, are on the screen way more than you, it just kind of seems like, well, and here's what she posted. Untitled Scream 7. I think it's just going to be called Scream 7, right? Why would they actually put Untitled right there? It's not like they've been changing the titles or anything like that. Anyways, I'm nitpicking, but yes. Right here, Kevin Williamson, he's coming back. He's directing. She posted this right here. And then, of course, posted a caption talking about all this. Hi, all. I'm so excited to announce this news. Sydney Prescott is coming back. She doesn't stand with Melissa? How dare she? Of course she doesn't stand with Melissa because if they backed up a dump truck full of fucking money, probably twice or five times what she asked for originally, she ain't gonna stand for anybody. Does Nev Campbell ever get political? Of course she doesn't. I don't see, I've never seen like political takes except for, you know, when it came to, I mean, I guess you could say it was kind of political when she was talking about they weren't offering her enough money when it came to coming back and stuff like that. And she was like, you know, but then at the same time, it's like, yeah, I mean, she, she saw her value. Of course, yeah, she saw the value. Why not? But then of course, how many people how many people, how many Scream fans were going to boycott this movie? And I've seen the backlash. They are not, they are frowning on Nev Campbell, which they should be, <laughs> to be honest, because it doesn't look kind of, it doesn't, it doesn't look good. When you made a stink about the pay and then Melissa gets fired because of her comments about something that's super political right now. And then you're just going to come back and announce it like that. I mean, obviously this is the studio just kind of going like, how do we, how do we get back on the good graces of the fans? This is how you do it. And then it kind of makes you wonder just how many fans are going to just like go, I, 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 I didn't post anything about, uh, no, no, I was completely supportive. I, I, I still, um, yeah, yeah, I, I'm going to buy a ticket. See, that's what I wonder. It's like how many of these fans that were already like boycott now that are like, oh, uh, 